Hi guys, Computer here and my name is Anil Deshpande. As a part of Android multi-threading, we have gone through the concepts of what is a main thread or a UI thread in Android, how the looper and handler works and also after that we had completed the usage of the async task. But based on the comments that I had seen in the comment section and various requests, it was very apparent that I had to address few more things in this particular subject. That is why I am visiting the looper and handler concept and talk about few more stuff here. So you are already familiar with this particular diagram what we were basically doing in this is from the main thread we were triggering a thread and then we used to put a runnable instance in the looper that is the main thread and we were able to do this because we had the access to the handler which was referring to a message queue of the main thread the scenario that we are seeing here is communicating from the non ui thread to a ui thread which is a looper but what if we want to create our own custom looper what i am basically talking about is we will create our own thread that will behave like a looper and this particular thread or a looper thread will be able to host the tasks that it wants to execute then from the ui thread i want to trigger a new thread and this new thread will basically use the handler and then put the task to the custom looper that we have created and if necessary even update the ui thread from the looper thread if you think about it the main idea is first we need to create a thread and then make it behave like a looper how to do that it is pretty simple we will be creating a thread and will be overriding the run method there is nothing special here this is a regular java thread implementation but the difference is inside the run method we will be invoking a methods like looper.prepare and looper.loop when you invoke looper.loop that is when this particular thread becomes a looper thread typically what happens is in a thread you get into the run method execute whatever that is there in the run method and just exit out of the thread we don't want that to happen we want this particular thread to be continuously in the infinite loop to keep on executing things that we will give it to execute and that is where the looper dot prepare and looper dot loop will basically make sure that this run method is continuously executing so once we have looper thread how do we give the task to this particular looper thread for that we have to create the handler we will go through all these aspects in a live demo session so while discussing the looper and handler we had implemented application such that we had an activity and once we started this particular thread we used to update the ui thread with whatever the counter value and if we clicked on the stop thread we used to basically stop counter value so right now we will be removing this let me go back to the another class that i have implemented which is looper thread you can observe that it is a normal thread and we have implemented looper.prepare and looper.loop what we will do here is we will create handler instance here and this particular handler instance will be initialized inside the run method and this needs to be done after the looper dot prepare so what i will do is handler is equal to new handler overwrite the handle message and inside the handle message you can pretty much do whatever that you want to do in this case i will just print whatever the message that i am getting log dot i tag so let me print the thread id here just to confirm on which particular thread it is getting executed thread dot current thread dot get id i will be sending message with the count value so let me put the count value here message dot object and in the main activity i have implemented a method called as execute on custom looper it triggers thread and what that thread does is it sleeps for one second and increments the value of the counter it passes the value of that particular counter to the message object and then i will be sending this particular message to the handler that i have declared in the looper thread so you can observe that i have used looper thread dot handler send message and i am sending the message object that i created here and that is what execute on looper thread does i will be invoking this particular method when i click on the thread start button let me do that and then i will be making the yum stop loop boolean variable equals to false whenever i click on the stop thread button and another important aspect is i have created an instance of looper thread here in the main activity here at line number 44 i have instantiated it and then 
then I have started the looper thread. This is no more needed. This is the old legacy code. And if you observe here in the execute on custom looper, as soon as I start the thread, I am printing what is the thread ID. This thread ID will be different from the thread of the looper thread. And I am also printing thread ID of the main thread. So now let me run this. So if you go to the locket, you will observe that thread ID of the main thread is one. So the main thread ID is one. I have not yet started looper thread. So let me click on that. You can now observe that thread ID of the thread that sends the message is 159. And once I send the message it comes over here it prints thread id is equal to 155 and it just prints the counter so right now i am not updating the ui we will come to that later but you can make out that there are basically three threads here one is the main thread whose id is one and then the another thread which is actually incrementing the counter that is 159 and there is a another thread which is basically a looper thread receiving the message and displaying the count value now the question is what if i want to update ui from looper thread we'll go back to the main activity i have written another method execute on custom looper with custom handler i need to just pass a runnable instance to the handler and the handler will execute whatever the runnable instance that we post to it and what this particular runnable instance does is it once again does the same thing it just starts incrementing the counter and then it is executing a method called as run on ui thread run on ui thread basically makes sure that you communicate from the non ui thread to a ui thread and here i am updating text view value with whatever the count that we got so just let me execute this particular method instead of earlier method and restart the application and i will click on the start thread and now you will observe that the ui is also getting updated what that basically means is we are not using the handle message of the looper thread we are directly passing a runnable instance and that is what is getting executed but it is still getting executed in the looper thread i hope this makes it very clear on how to create your own custom looper and then pass on your any kind of long processing that you want to do to this particular looper there is another small aspect that i want to discuss but i shall do that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye